Dear compatriots and friends, first of all I wish to express my deepest condolences over the demise of the comrade Kerima Lorena Tariman to our beloved husband Erickson Acosta and son Emmanuel, her parents Pablo Tariman and uh, Merlita Lorena, her two sisters, her closest comrades in the revolutionary movement and all the people who are moved by her martyrdom. We are all saddened by the passing away of Comrade Kirima at her young age. At the same time, as we honor her and pay our respects, we celebrate her lifelong service to the people, her revolutionary commitment and courage, her diligence, creativity, and militancy, her achievements as a cater, writer, poet, and fighter, and her readiness to undergo risk and difficulties and make the supreme sacrifice. In several respects, I feel a deep sense of comradeship with Comrade Kerima because we have been alike in knowing the basic problems of the Filipino people and the need for the new democratic revolution in becoming student activist, in writing poetry, in recognizing the leadership of the proletariat, in learning its theory and practice, in going to the masses of workers and peasants and joining them in struggle. The martyrdom of Comrade Karima puts her in a league above all of us. Shame to the Philistines and counter-revolutionaries who say that she died too young and wasted her life. Many of the greatest heroes in the old democratic revolution and in the new democratic revolution have been martyred in their twenties and thirties, and their martyrdom has inspired so many more people and the entire Filipino nation to wage the revolution for national and social liberation. Like the greatest martyrs and heroes of the Filipino people, Comrade Kirima inspires us not only with her martyrdom as the supreme act of sacrifice, but she also bequeathed to all of us, to her own generation and future generations, a record of revolutionary deeds and a body of poetry and other writings that expressed the revolutionary significance of her life and further engaged people to wage the, the revolution. Because of her revolutionary example, she is emulated by countless people who become more determined than ever to take the road of armed revolution. Because of martyrs and heroes like Comrade Karima, the People's Democratic Revolution has scored great victories in the last more than 50 years and will not take a period as long as more than 300 years for the Filipino people to realize the old democratic revolution up to the point of ending Spanish colonialism before such revolution was interrupted by U.S. imperialism, its co-optation of the liberal bourgeoisie and the collaboration of the comprador big bourgeoisie and landlord class. Before the end of the 20th century, the foundation of the new democratic revolution has been established and has been developed nationwide, self-reliantly, by such revolutionary forces as the Communist Party of the Philippines, the New People's Army, the revolutionary mass organizations, the alliances of various types, and the local organs of political power. It is fine that the generation of Comrade Karima has further developed the revolutionary forces to such an extent that I dare to predict at the current stage of, of strategic defensive characterized by the multiplication of platoons and companies in guerrilla warfare will certainly advance to the strategic stalemate characterized by companies and battalions in regular mobile warfare in preparation for the strategic offensive and total victory. The Philippine Revolution is necessitated by the escalating conditions of oppression and exploitation and the bright future of this revolution is guaranteed by the rapid worsening of the chronic crisis 
of the semi-colonial and semi-feudal ruling system, as well as by the crisis of the world capitalist system. So far, all campaigns of US imperialism and the local exploiting classes to destroy the revolutionary movement have failed from the time of the Marcos fascist dictatorship to the present and instead incited the people, especially the toiling masses, to wage armed revolution. By terminating the peace negotiations between the GRP and the National Democratic Front of the Philippines and engaging in all-out war in order to realize his fascist and dynastic ambitions, Duterte has unwittingly driven the Filipino people to expand and intensify the new democratic revolution through the protracted People's War. His grave crimes of treason, state terrorism, plunder, and political swindling continue to aggravate the economic and political crisis of the ruling system and compel the people to wage the armed revolution for national and social liberation. Long live the memory and revolutionary example of Comrade Kerima Lorena Tariman. Down with the fascist Duterte regime and the rotten ruling system. Long live the Filipino people. Win ever greater victories in the Philippine Revolution.